Uh, you never really know until you play the game, but I mean, you think on film, uh, they're playing some press coverage, you know, which team of North, you know, worked to play, and I think uh, Penn State would play. I think Penn State was pretty physical. So, just down the defense, uh, probably more in line with maybe like how Penn State plays, if you were to, you know, from a mindset standpoint. How does that change what your guys have to do if they're maybe getting Do you think, I mean, both those teams kind of... Uh, not a whole lot. I mean, we're going to go into that with a good plan, and uh, and we're still going to look to execute at a high level. But I think that you know, obviously being mindful of what kind of technique we're getting is important. Uh, having a plan for that technique and then operating it and executing it uh, is always the game plan, regardless of how you play. I mean, uh, but not a whole lot of change. Kevin talked about how their their defense is a lot of candy, and you'll sort of you'll see something before the snap, and it's not. You know, a lot of times that's not what you're actually getting. Well, I mean, I think that uh, just being aware of, uh, you know, where your near safety is, you know, it's hard for you to really disguise anything, uh, you know, based on safety locations. So you got to be mindful of that. Corners can kind of lie to you a little bit. And, and that's always kind of the name of the game. But, uh, you know, I think that, you know, just like our defense, you know, you're always going to try to, you know, prevent sharing information. They're going to try to do the same thing. Uh, but hopefully we'll do some things that can uh, make it a little more difficult on them. It's not about what they do. It's more about how we do it and what we're going to do. And that's hopefully the mindset that a lot of, the, you know, we're going to carry going into this game. Brian and Kevin both talked this month about the fact that you guys need to be high third slow forwards to win this game. Is that something you guys are taking as a challenge? And, you know, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to, have to uh, do a lot of that leg work to get to, get to that third. Well, I mean, I think that just shows you what all CFP games have been. I mean, it's not necessarily this game. It's just the history of CFP and, and what the winner usually scores. Uh, if you want to win and follow the, the history of the last you know, six, year, six years, you probably got to do something like that. Uh, no, I think anytime you get in a bull prep, uh, you get an opportunity for a lot of young guys to kind of get more opportunities to put their best foot forward. And really, you know, the, the, the bull prep provides the opportunity to uh, get some momentum in the spring. And, uh, but you, you know, you've also seen where guys maybe didn't have a great bull prep, but then have a great spring. And you have some guys where they may have a, uh, uh, you know, great bull prep and then have a bad spring. So it, it's all a part of it. It's all a maturation process. But uh, bull prep, like you've said, uh, really provides that opportunity uh, to, to put a best foot forward. And I think we've had some guys to do that. Of your freshman, this freshman class is not necessarily as much as some of the previous freshman classes. Well, I would just say that if I'm going to, if one guy's coming off the field, you have to be able to do what that person did, or I'm putting the offense at a decent advantage. So, until that happens, uh, the best player is always going to play. That being said, I mean, I think that young players always need to continue to match, you know, mature in, uh, in, in game uh, speed, game understanding, uh, the game within the game, if you will. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, it's always going to be a, uh, a chase to, to, to execute and operate at the level at which the guys that are that are starting uh, you know and again I think that we have some young guys that are putting in the effort and uh, the maturation is needs to continue I think Caleb Brown was the first year guys to lose his black strike this year is that right? Uh, sounds right yep 
So what what was it about him that had him at that level to take the hard He made some plays in camp and uh you know, I think he was a guy that was showing the most consistency. And, uh, you know, anytime you can execute at a high level and be consistent, uh, you're on the right path. Is he someone that you would envision playing in the slot? Where do you envision him? Uh, well, that would be, you know, dependent on him. You know, you can only play positions that you know. And you need to make sure you're an expert at whichever position you are. If you're a guy that can only learn one position, well, then we're probably going to identify you guys as a one-position kind of guy, which we don't like. I mean, I don't like having guys that only play one spot. So, uh, you know, for Caleb, uh, you know, where he fits in, into the offense and, and how that operates will be, you know, uh, really dependent on, on him. All right, thanks.